Hi, Bay. How's everybody Hi. doing today? Thank you all so Hello. much for being here. Hi, Sorry, I'm a few How's minutes late. Uh, airport, airport traffic Sorry, was uh, airport traffic y. Um, getting luggage off the plane was uh, pretty standard for Phoenix. Um, so, anyway. Pretty standard for Phoenix. Uh oh. I have an echo. Um, so, anyway. Echo. Uh oh. I have an echo. <laughs> thank you all so much, Amanda. Thank you for your resub for 23 months and Dreck for 20 months. Evil Notion, thank you for your pi day bitty bitty bits. Evil Notion, I know. Thank you for your Tango's on it. Tango is on the echo, right? We're all gonna sing in rounds now. Row, row, row your boat. You start row, row, row your boat. You start. Hi, stop. It's too many voices. So many voices. Stop. It's like a it's whole many lot of Mrs. So Tango. many voices. Yeah, Tinkerbell, it's thank like you so much. Four months. So Hi, Wrathful Monk. Voices. Thank you for your follow. Yeah, I totally so missed much. all the follows. Like, I can Hi, see them on my screen here. But it's a lot. I totally missed all the follows. Like, I can see them on my screen here. But it's a lot. Anyway. Tell Tango to hurry. Making us crazy. Tell Tango to hurry. It did not do this earlier today. When we tested this, we tested this this morning. It did not do this today. When we tested this, we tested this this morning. <laughs> Main Steve, thank you so much. And Borealis Laura, thank you so much for your bitty bits. Thank you for your bitty bits. Is that better? Am I still echoing? Lisa, 26 months, thank you so much. I appreciate at least three or four of us. It's like the stream is open. I appreciate at least three or four of us. It's like the stream is open. Oh, is there sound coming through one of our phones? Oh, look at that oh, hype screen. Is there sound coming through one of our phones? Oh, look at that. Hey everybody, Tango says he's an idiot. Dolphin emoji, thank you so much for 10 gift subs. Are you for real? It's fixed now. Is it fixed? Still echoing. No, it's fixed. Do you like my chicken pot pie? I ha have my chicken pot pie shirt on. It's still echoing a lot. They're wrong. Happy pie day. <laughs> it's fixed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, I Ace Galaxy Allen, thank you so much for your for your bitty bits on pie day. <laughs> Murrusky 16 months. Thank you so much. So we're gonna we're gonna try baking again on stream. Um, if you all recall, we we did this a couple years ago, I think. It feels like it's probably been a year and a half at least. We did a uh, Christmas baking, right? I think. I don't know. So we're back again. We're gonna do some more. Um, the first thing that we're going to bake is, <laughs> thank you, Amanda. Woohoo! You're looking forward to pie day? So we had pie for breakfast. I mean, the kids and I did. Tango didn't want any part of it. <laughs> party for, party pie for me, not for the tech squad. <laughs> I am, I am. Did you read my recipe? So um, on my Discord, the recipes that I'm making there. Um, the first one we're gonna start with, so because of the timing of things and things have to cool, I'm gonna kind of jump through um, all the recipes kind of at the same time because like the peanut butter pie dog treats that we're gonna start with, they have to cool before I can put the peanut butter mix into it. Oh, look at that hype train. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you. Ah. Oh. Oh, how am I gonna say this? Uh, Methuselah, thank you for your bitty bits. Thank you, a birthday 100. Thank you, thank you, happy birthday. Um, everything is fine. Oh, the bodice down. Ah, uh, Anita, I'm sorry. Uh, I use Firebot, yeah. Yeah, you can just kick it on upstairs. Thank you. Oh, Vicky, thank you for your bitty bits. Uh, Mirax, thank you for your pie bits. You finally got it. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Sonar, 20 months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Rust never sleeps, three months. I missed another one. Oh, I'm trying to get them all. Oh, I'm totally gonna miss all the follows and I'm really, really sorry. 
I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so we are going to be doing, uh, thank you. The shirt's fun for Pi Day. You're not prepared for Pi Day? Oh, man. Yep. Yeah, so Tango should be kicking on the bot uh, in a second. Thank you so much, Main Steve. Thank you, Sonar. I love my kitchen. So if you didn't know, this is our this is the house that we moved into about a year and a half ago. Um, so that's why if you've watched the Clumsy Cooking episodes on uh, ZF's channel, uh, it's a different kitchen because we moved about a year and a half ago. So this is my love, love kitchen. I love it so much. Um, Tango spent days putting up the, the icing, the frosting. It wasn't days. We had them here for about three months before they went up. Yeah, the dogs are outside looking for bees. It's beautiful. The house is open. I know, isn't that crazy? It doesn't feel like it's been that. Um, actually on Amazon, to be honest with you, I got the shirt on Amazon. So I know I, I gotta get started so we can get going. Cause uh, I got things to do, right? He was going to help me crack the eggs. No handed. No shush. Shush. That's so gross. Yes. So this is the same kitchen that I did my last baking. It was just probably decorated for uh, Christmas time for winter. I probably had winter stuff up. So you tend to make your pies with graham cookie crust. Yes. So I have graham crackers to do um, one of the, the crust for the tart is with that. So anyway, we're going to start with the uh, peanut butter pie dog treats, and it is, um, this is one for the dogs. We're going to start here, um, and it's going to be more like little mini cupcakes. I shouldn't say mini. They're kind of regular size cupcakes. Um, no more mouth eggs. No more mouth eggs. <laughs> You're making pizza pie? That's what uh, my parents are also making today to celebrate Pi Day. Although they did say that they're gonna come over later tonight for uh, chicken pot pie. So, how many of these do I need, eight? All right. So we've got eight of those. Um, the oven is preheated already to 350. Um, we have eight muffin tins. I thought I had silicone muffin things. Hi, hon. Um, but, uh, I don't. I don't know where they are. I have two. I used to have more. What are you putting on me? What is this, a pie hat? What's the matter? You don't like pies on your head? <laughs> I can't see. Can't see. <laughs> oh. Anyway, Huntress Lena, thank you so much for 10 months. I appreciate it so much. You're making meatloaf. It's, round, it's roundish. <laughs> Did you put it in a pan? That's what matters. Okay, so we're gonna do, um, we need to combine the unsweetened applesauce. We need a one and a half cups of oat flour. To make oat flour, you know what you do? You put oats in a choppy chop. And so I've already done one cup of oats. And I'm gonna bring it over here. Um, I need to do another half cup of oats to get it. So I actually am probably going to turn off my, um, my microphone while I do it because it's really, really loud. You can mute me? Okay. Well, I have to turn it. People can make do. People can make do. Okay, plug your ears, people. Plug your ears. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, plug your ears. All right, so there is oat flour. Woo! And now we are going to put in unsweetened applesauce. We need half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. Chat might be what? Oh, is it a little bit behind? 
You were prepared for something. I felt like it was really loud. No. All right. Unsweetened applesauce in here. We're going to combine it. I have a kid here who wants to try the dog pies. <laughs> What's that? That's nothing. That is not in use. You could move it out of the way. Yeah, you can go over there. Um, all right. I don't know. Twitch compression. Oh, maybe. Maybe it did. It, it is totally edible. I mean, it's all, it's all, I mean, it's applesauce and oat flour and peanut butter and a banana. So I would think that it'd be fine, right? All right. All right, so this is the applesauce and oat flour mixture. And this recommends using an ice cream scoop. What? We have an ice cream scoop. Oh, lights. I don't know. Ask the people, is the light better? You have Oreo ice cream sandwiches? We don't have any of those, evil. Um, what else? Well, this isn't going to be ready for a little bit, hon. These have to get baked and filled. Uh, Kaysen, thank you much for three months. I appreciate it. Mooney, 18 months. Uh-oh. The dog's here to taste test. All right, this one needs to go a little bit more there. I'm going to throw that in there. All right. So, the dog pie crusts have been created. Genesis, thank you. Thank you for the piece of pie. Okay, so those have been done. And we are going to put this into um, the oven for 10 minutes. Sorry, my fingers are dirty. Um, Oh, it says 15 minutes. Oh, and I have to use a fork to gently poke some holes. <laughs> Did you see her? You made, oh, you bought a lovely caramel apple pie? It said to poke holes. I will follow the directions. Okay, so now this is going to go into the oven for um, 15 minutes. All right. 15 minutes. We're baking. If I could work on this side. Okay. Is your finger right in front of that camera? That's nice. That's nice. Uh-huh. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. All right, so now while that is cooking... I am going to make the filling with the banana and the peanut butter, and we'll chill that in, to, in the fridge until, uh, it's almost like Tango's a professional. What? You're crazy. Thank you, Rose. You're currently eating Saskatoon berry rhubarb pie for the occasion. <gasps> and we'll start a chocolate pie soon. Are you making a chocolate pie? The kiddo had a chocolate pie for breakfast today no you can't have another one because it's what beer no it's an adult beverage all right i need one large ripe banana I don't know if that was large or not, but we're going to say that it works. And then I need um, peanut butter. 
So this peanut butter does not have xylitol in it. If you're using peanut butter at home, you need to just make sure it doesn't have xylitol in it because the xylitol um, is bad for your dog. And this peanut butter does not have xylitol in it. It has peanuts, sugar, peanut oil, honey, salt, and uh, palm oil. So we need a half a cup of peanut butter. So grab half a cup of peanut butter. And then we're gonna mix this filling all together and put it in the fridge to uh, chill, right? Oh, I should have used my fork to mash that banana first. So we're mashing the banana. <laughs> Is the camera resizing on the fly? Is production doing a great job? Let's let's hear it for production today. <laughs> <sighs> All right, put this mashed banana and be uh, peanut butter mix together. The judges are here, but the judges don't get to eat this until I put it together. <gasps> Thank you for the 45 bitty bits. How can you access these recipes? Um, if you go to my Discord, um, I posted the recipes, I think in general, um, two days ago. So you can grab them from there. The peanut butter pie dog treats are from a site that's like um, food fun and Frenchy farts or something like that. <laughs> Waffles in my face. Make sure Tango does not eat too much pie or his circumference will increase. Do you hear that? That's tips. Thank you all so much for these follows. You guys are great. And also, you should ask my kids if I should play Phasmo. My kids will say yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I feel like that's mixed enough. I'm going to just put that in the fridge to cool. And we will uh, get moving on with the next uh, recipe. We're going to start the tart next. OK? Um, because that is still baking. So we're going to put this in here. There's no room in the fridge. I should have planned better. All right. This can move out of the way. Oh, can you put that back in the fridge, please? Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. So that's making. When those come out, I need to let them cool completely. Oh, you know what I'm gonna need out of that is the cooling rack. There's a silver cooling rack in that bottom cabinet down there. I'm gonna show my butt, but you can show your. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> nope, other one to the left. Yeah, there should be metal. Are they on the top shelf? Yeah, they should be there. What? Dad's not on the camera? Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. Oh, look at these follows. You guys are amazing. True baking is not planned. <laughs> Organized chaos, exactly. Organized chaos. All right, I'm gonna put these over here for when that comes out. It's very hot wearing a hat. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, so now the next one, we're gonna start on um, s'mores tart with toasted marshmallow. And off the top of my head, um, I cannot remember what website I got this from. I think knife forks, uh, forkknifeswoon.com is where it came from. Once again, it's posted on my Discord. Um, so many people joining the Discord, I know. So you can... Uh, <laughs> Mail you some, please. I am excited to do this, the s'mores tart. Um, but I am melting. Thank you, Genesis. I am melting chocolate again. And as we know, 
I do not do a great job with melting chocolate. So let's see how it goes today. Um, so um, this wants me to preheat the oven to 375. It's already at 350 cooking those uh, dog tarts. Um, and they are looking golden. You can go in there. Can you turn my light back on though? Thank you. Yep, that's it. Okay. Um, we need uh, graham cracker crumbs, which I totally meant to make before, um, before the stream, because once again, I need to grind them up. And, uh, and so I, I did want to try to make this a gluten-free dessert. You can make it gluten-free if you were to find gluten-free graham crackers. Um, I was unable to find gluten-free graham crackers yesterday. You can also make it dairy-free if you use coconut milk and uh, vegan butter. Um, I am gonna use coconut milk, but I did not uh, think of using vegan butter. So it's, it's a little bit dairy-free. <laughs> the mods are fighting. <laughs> Homemade caramel, graham crackers in a Ziploc and, and kib flavor right now. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna do uh, some graham cracker crumbs right now. I need one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. Um, I bought graham cracker crumb graham crackers yesterday. Does anyone know how many uh, graham crackers make one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs? You would think that they would put that conversion on top of the uh, box. I'm just saying. When are we never fighting? <laughs> you like to use your rolling pin? Uh huh. Uh huh. You know what I like to use is uh, the meat tenderizer too. Our meat tenderizer has a flat side on it. So graham cracker crumbs, graham cracker crumbs. It's hard, it's very hard to say. So we are going to do that. I'm looking for a bag, which I don't have in that drawer. Um, and I need another bowl. Sorry, unprepared. So unprepared for this. Okay, so we are we need for this graham cracker crumbs, light brown sugar, uh, ground cinnamon, kosher salt, and uh, melted butter. So let me grab the butter out of the fridge. So I've got butter here, and I need six tablespoons of butter melted, of unsalted butter. I don't think this is unsalted. I think this is the wrong color for the unsalted one. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna make it work. It's butter. It's a... the torch. You don't get to use the torch. You don't get to use the torch. That's crazy talk right there. All right. So I'm gonna do butter. I feel like I probably shouldn't cut on my countertop. So we'll go here. I need six tablespoons of butter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Tango and a torch isn't good. I know. I know. <laughs> Since Tango a flamethrower, don't do that, evil. We do not need a flamethrower in this house. Between him and the kids, be chaos. Utter chaos. All right. Ugh. All right. Putting the butter into the bowl, and we're going to melt it. All right. Butter's melting. Check. Um, it says it wants me to use a food processor to pulse together graham crumbs and brown sugar, cinnamon, and salt. So here's the deal. I don't have a food processor. So, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to stir it, okay? That's how, that's how it's going to be today. We're going to smash graham crackers, and we're just going to stir everything together. I feel like that will work just fine, okay? Ooh, my butter is bubbling. I can hear it. I'm sad that you can't hear it. Uh, 
don't let him know. He is not running around with all the flamey flamies. Uh-uh. He does not. He did. Elon Musk did sell uh, flamethrowers. He sold, like, I want to say, like, 300 of them he sold. Sorry. No? I can't put that there? Nope. Can't put my drink there. Okay. Drink goes back over there. Use the what? Production overruled my drink. Um, maybe production could get me a Ziploc bag from the pantry for smashing purposes. A gallon bag, yeah, from the top shelf in there. Sorry. The box is too big to put in uh, the drawer. Thank you. Like the Starbucks cup on Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh. I, exactly, well, it's the multi pack from Costco, right? Because the kids' school, they always need, uh, like, they need quart ones and. What? Am I ever going to stream cooking and baking from different countries? Oh, that would be fun. I re I'm not, mm. I can't do it this week. I can't, I can't make another stream like this happen this week. I feel like it's too much. Whenever it happens, it happens. Okay. All right. Now we're going to smash. So how's your day? This stream, I know, Genesis, this stream, I promised this stream a long, long time ago, thanks to the donations that we got, and, uh, and it never happened. And so now it's happening today, because it's Pi Day, and I thought, mind the knife, eh, Now that we have the technology worked out, Tango would love to do more streams like this. It's easy peasy, he says. Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying the sound? I'm sorry. Apologies. The dogs uh, don't really enjoy it so much. Well, that didn't do so bad, right? Not so bad. Oh, 13 next angel. Thank you so much for your prime sub for two months. I appreciate it. I know, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm almost done. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Mrs. Tango cooked the same thing world tour. <laughs> you think that's five cups? No. No. I bet it's a cup and a half. I bet. All right, this is a cup. Right? Cup. <gasps> Your pie crusts are done. All right, maybe it's two cups. All right, cup and a half. I'll have to make a key lime pie drinks with that later. Throw that over there, all right. So this is done. I'm gonna turn off the timer and I'm gonna pull out the, the shells, the crusts for the dog treats. Hi girls, are you excited? Huh, you excited? We're gonna put these over here to cool so I can fill them up later, okay? They're cooling over there, okay? It'll be all right, okay. So we have this, and now we need a quarter of a cup of light brown sugar packed. Socially awkward wolf. Thank you so much for your follow. I appreciate it. Um, I'm missing all of the other follows too. Um, Private UFO, Mander Pants. Um, yeah, it's a lot. Mysterious person. It's really hard. Key lime pie drinks to go with the pies. I know. See? You always get hungry. I tried to warn you, Groovy Loopy Lou. I tried to warn. Make sure that you've had your snacks because 
It's starting. It's starting. Brian, thank you so much for gift subs. I appreciate it so very much. Oh my gosh. Thank you. You're gonna eat the dog treats? They, they need to be filled. You just calm down. Calm down. All right. I need a quarter of a cup of light brown sugar. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good light brown sugar. There's a quarter of a cup. A little bit more. <laughs> I have that kind of brown sugar too. I thought it was gonna be good and I didn't check. You're ready for dessert now? Awesome. Okay, light brown sugar is in there. Um, cinnamon and salt needs to go in here now. I need a quarter of that and some of this. All right, ground cinnamon, I need a teaspoon of ground cinnamon teaspoon of ground cinnamon and then I need a quarter of a teaspoon of salt slice of bread absorbs my I know I have a little stone in there that was supposed to take care of it. Groovy Loopy Lou, thank you so much for your resub for 10 months. Mirax, thank you for your gift subs. Thank you, thank you. Five gift subs, you guys are amazing. Holy moly. Amazing. All right, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Uh-huh, yeah. But that's why I've got to have that stone that's supposed to do the same thing. Keeping a bay leaf in it, really? I haven't heard of that. That's interesting. Um, what am I missing from this? Graham, brown sugar, cinnamon, salt, drizzle in the butter, and... This is not clumsy. This isn't clumsy cooking. Yeah, I'm clumsy. All right, so we're gonna stir in the melted butter. Mmm, melted butter into our mix here. Um, we'll just do this. Okay, look, ooh, it's combined. Really, I know why they want a food processor so it's not so chunky, right? But this is how we're gonna roll today. This is how I cook. We make the best of it, right? Oh, Kat, thank you so much for your sub, for your prime sub. I appreciate it. It's a little bit less clumsy cooking. <laughs> oh. Watching the... <laughs> well, I as I told you, with that clumsy cooking, I am pretty sure that when we moved a year and a half ago that there was still whipped cream on the blinds in the kitchen. That will tell you um, how good the cooking or the cleaning was done before we left. Because you're watching someone else? <laughs> That's typical. The grinder would work, it would. But to be honest with you, I don't mind it being, having big clumps in it, it's delicious. I know this is going to be edible, unlike, uh, I mean, <laughs> yes, you tried to eat it. Oh, Fireblade, thank you so much. You're disappointed with the lack of duct tape and mouth eggs? <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. I know, we could have the, we could have the kids doing a production. <laughs> Noises, thank you so much for 26 months. Sunny D's, I saw that. Noises, I saw that Sunny D is coming out with a vodka seltzer, um, and it's a little bit strange. Um, I do have to say thank you to Noises for this amazing microphone. He sent this to me, us, um, after my last stream, and we had so many issues with it, and I feel like it's kind of amazing. It, yeah. Like this just totally worked right away. So shout out to Noises for his gift. 
because it's amazing. Holy zoinks, I love your name. You know, I don't have to thank you. Yes, I do have to thank you, Noises. It's amazing. So, but yeah, like the tech has been figured out. So maybe we do more fun live stuff, right? Do you see these dogs over here? Do you think that they're ready? Okay, so now we are going to put this into a tart pan, preferably with a removable bottom. And, uh... Cook it. Yep. You like removable bottoms? Sorry. Okay, so tart pan, in case you don't know what a tart pan is, it is a pan that's kind of, I, I wanna say crimped on the edges. Some might say fluted, but this one has a removable bottom. Um, I did just order this on Amazon because I didn't have one and nobody I knew had one that I could borrow. Um, so that's a tart pan. Um, my friends that I texted, they were like, I don't even know what a tart pan is. So they did not have one, but they did have a brulee torch for me to borrow. How do you not know what a tart pan is, but yet you have a brulee torch? Come on, come on people. <laughs> oh. So we're putting this in to our tart pan. It smells really good. It smells like graham crackers and butter and sugar, in case you're curious, in case your smell o vision isn't working today. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Is your smell o vision working? Did you arrange that, the smell o vision? It does, it does totally look like a Reese's cup wrapper. You are correct, I would agree with that. Um, I'm going to use a glass to press it down. This is going to be so delicious, and it's going to make me wish that I had decided to make a key lime pie instead because of the graham cracker crust. I just know it. All right. Oh. Too much pressing. Don't press too much. Don't press too much. James T. Dude, thank you for your follow. Uh, Cinderella DeVita. Seems fun too. All right. So we'll put that there. Um, I love key lime pie. It is one of my favorite, key lime and lemon meringue. Um, in fact, I had key lime pie for breakfast today. So did my kid. We had pie for breakfast. I told the husband that I was eating nothing but pie today. So I'm pretty hungry because I only had a slice of key lime pie for breakfast. And uh, now your daughter just made a key lime pie? That's amazing. So jealous. Okay, so I have this and I put it on a rimmed sheet pan and I'm baking it for five to seven minutes until the crust is golden and set. Um, it already looks pretty golden to me, so we'll see. So it said five minutes, yeah. So we're gonna throw this in five minutes. Okay. So that's five minutes there. Um, the dog treats, I don't think they're cool enough yet. I will touch them and see. Um, and then we're gonna start making the chocolate ganache filling. <gasps> Brassy Chassie, thank you so much for your bitty bits. I so appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I'm gonna make chicken pot pie in a couple minutes. So excited. Um, oh, all right, so chocolate ganache. We're bringing back uh, the chocolate melting, okay? So here's the deal. For the chocolate melting, I'm just gonna do my best, okay? That's You're how it's gonna it. work. You're gonna do great. Okay? And we're all just gonna be happy You're with what turns out. out. Nope, 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 we're all just gonna be happy with how it turns out. You're gonna kill it, Okay. 
<laughs> okay, we'll see. I'm going to touch these dog treats and see if they're cool enough yet. Actually, I can take them out. All right, I'm taking the dog treats out of the pan because the pan is cool. And we can put this over here to be washed. Ah, oh, I got this. I got this. Oh, is this not part of production now? <laughs> My melted chocolate would be better than your attempt. I don't know that once you, Mm, if you were to see my last chocolate attempt, you might not agree. Oh, the dogs found bees. The dogs are all over the bees. Brassy Chassie, seven months. Thank you so much. I know we totally need smell o vision so you can smell the delicious pies. Um, I know. So that's what I tried last time, and I broke the chocolate. I'm doing it, I'm following the instructions on the recipe. That's how I'm gonna do. Uh, the recipe suggests um, adding the cream or coconut milk to a large heavy bottom saucepan over medium heat. Bring it to a simmer and then remove from the heat and stir in the chopped chocolate. So I am not chopping up um, bittersweet chocolate. I got chocolate chips. <laughs> instead so look look at that bam it's already chopped see watch this bam already chopped um i am going to use coconut milk because i think that sounds super tasty to use coconut milk so this is the coconut milk i bought um and if you are going to use coconut milk it recommends making sure you're using one that only has um coconut uh, or uh, coconut cream and water um, and this one has organic coconut purified water and guar gum so we'll see how it works right doctor 10 pieces of pie you got my chocolate melting we'll see we'll see thank you so much for the new subs uh denier denior and revent thank you so much need to add some habanero to it well so that's a thing adding cayenne to your chocolate, right? So I did, I saw that they had dark chocolate bars uh, with cayenne in it. Um, so I didn't buy those though, because I was a little worried that the kids wouldn't eat it. So I am super excited. I'm really excited about this recipe and I'm so hopeful that it turns out. Oh, Mama Builder, thank you so much for your cheers for those bitty bitty bits, I appreciate it. That's the treat for Tango, we'll put a little bit of cayenne on his i know that there's a place here that does um cupcakes that are uh red velvet cayenne and because red velvet is really just a dark chocolate right they just dye it um and they do some cayenne in it and it's really good really good oh really your dog is loving it <laughs> i love it chocolate with olives yeah yicky miranda miller thank you so much for those bitty bits i appreciate it um Okay, so I am going to, um, I need to get a saucepan over medium heat and add the coconut milk to it. So let me open up the coconut milk and we'll go from there. Opening the coconut milk. This is the, in case you're wondering, this is the uh, can opener that Tango is incapable of using. He doesn't know how to use it. Look at that. Is that easy or what? Tango, can't make it happen. All right, let's check this crust. Ooh, it smells so good. All right, does that look golden and set to everyone? It smells absolutely amazing. I am super excited for that. Stay there. Okay. We're gonna push this over to here. I'll turn off the beeping. I, I lifted up my delicious pan. It wasn't close enough, it has to get closer than that. It's 
so I can see it. We need it. We need a second. <gasps> we need a bigger TV. That's what we need. Is it a bitter? See, Zing can smell. Average Zing says it smells delicious. Your husband has can opener issues too? Uh-huh. My husband's incapable of using this. Make the camera eat the pan. Is that what it is? Is that what we have to do? <laughs> oh, I'm muted. Your wife won't use a manual one? <laughs> okay, so this is the pan I'm gonna use. Oh my gosh, that's hot. Whew, that's hot. Okay, I need how much of this? One and a quarter cups. This is 13.5 ounces. Uh, math for me. Do I have enough here or do I need to open up another can? Uh, Eight ounces is a cup. I feel like this is enough, right? Everybody agree with me? Oh, come on, math people. You're letting me down. Okay. 1.2 is 10 ounces. So can I just throw this whole thing in there? I think it'll be good. Have you ever tasted coconut milk? Is it good? Ew, why is it... I wasn't expecting it to be solid. You refuse to math? It's Tuesday. <laughs> Not my pay grade. No math on Tuesdays. No math on Tuesdays. All right. I'm super excited for this pie now. Okay, so cream or coconut milk has been added. We're gonna bring it to a simmer. Huh. Huh. Okay, simmer down. So while that's going, I do not want to uh, open that again. Otherwise, it's gross. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. I can't. What's gross? It just separated? Yeah. Blech. Blech. All right. This can go over here. Um, what are we doing now? Good golly. We're trying to make this ganache. Continue stirring until the chocolate is completely melted and the ganache is smooth and shiny. And stir in the vanilla. Oh, I'm gonna need some vanilla too. This is my vanilla from Costco. It's delicious. It's very good. Because I didn't buy vanilla when I went to Mexico last year. So. Why are you telling, why didn't, um, I need to shake it. Shake my booty? No. You know what? We don't have any cooking music happening. Am I going to get DMCAQR Ninerd? Maybe we should not. Probably not. Let's turn it off. Because I would like to transfer this to um, to my YouTube channel. That's what I would like to do. Ooh. There's melting happening here. The solid is becoming a liquid. We're doing chemistry right now, people. Chemistry is happening. <laughs> Uh 
Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> there you go, kid. If you wanna, if you wanna see it, it's been clipped for your pleasure. You can laugh. You can laugh at me in the plop. All right. So look, solid is becoming liquid chemistry. Cooking chemistry is happening. I mean, not super cool cooking chemistry, like, um, what's his face? Name just flew right out of my brain. Richard Blaze or, uh, I can't remember. Should be Mrs. T. My first YouTube short is the, uh, <laughs> is the coconut milk plop. I wasn't expecting it. I did not expect the plop. Alton Brown, not him. I was thinking of, um, not Walter White. Ah. Wiley do friends. That's who I'm thinking of. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're used to the plop, Genesis? <laughs> it's so liquid. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Oh. All right, keep the simmering. All right, that's cooling. Are these dog treats cooled yet? Almost. They're almost cooled, okay? So the dogs can have some treats later. <laughs> Thank you, Shell Bells, for your prime sub. I really appreciate that. Heston Blumenthal, I don't know who Heston Blumenthal is. Right now, we are making s'mores tart with toasted marshmallow meringue is what we're making. Um, I do not know off the top of my head. Uh, there's a link that's going through. Thank you. I should say that every five minutes. So it's from uh, forkknifeswoon.com is the blog that it came from. Um, Lala sent me a really good one, but... Um, it had a longer cook time, and I figured I wouldn't have enough time to get it uh, get it taken care of in this stream because I have things to do tonight too. So, Doctor, thank you so much for Prime sub. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> what was I not subbed? I know I don't know, Heston. I have no idea. Um. Anyway, so. I don't remember what I was saying now. Thank you. S'mores mania, I saw you, I saw your suggestion, Genesis, and the peanut butter is still out, so we might do that once uh, everything's cooled and flamed, right? Thank you so much, <laughs> Charlie. It's fun, you love the dog sightings? All the dogs coming in? Yeah, they're ready. They're ready for some snacks. <laughs> How's the coconut? It is all liquid now. For those of you wanting your chemistry, it is all liquid. Did you get the steam right in the camera? We're waiting for it to simmer. Mm, I love coconut. I usually, like if I were to make brownies, I would use coconut oil in it because it's delicious. Production fail. Did you break my camera? What happened? Camera miss. Gah. Production fail. Come on now. How's my hand not? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's not burning though. <laughs> Need a better director. <sighs> oh, okay. So I'm going to put my uh, pot here and I will pour in my dark chocolate and it wants 12 ounces of bittersweet chocolate and so each of these bags is 10 ounces so we're gonna do a full bag and just a little of another bag does that sound good i mean because i did add more i added the whole can of do you need to taste this are they good mmm Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh 
Oh my gosh, those are so good. I really like dark chocolate though. So the recipe calls for 60 to 70% dark chocolate um, or cacao. And I went low on the low side because uh, the kids, uh, I don't know how much they really like dark chocolate, but I mean, I figure there's enough sugar and crap in this that we'll be okay, right? I don't know. How's my, oh, the simmer is good. We're gonna wait just another minute here on that simmer. Brian, thank you so much for your two month resub. The problem is the director's cooking and the sidekick is still learning. <laughs> That's right. Um, thank you, Bubble Boom, for five months. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. The production tax, I know I'm gonna need another bag now. <laughs> you had dark hot chocolate? Oh, that sounds so good. I love dark hot chocolate. Mm. What's your favorite brand? So I did, I did Ghirardelli because they had it and I really like Ghirardelli chocolate. Um, but I did have lint dark chocolate bars in my cart. And uh, for the price, I got bags of chocolate chips instead. So use the lower cocoa using having, oh, thank you, Maine Steve. I appreciate that. So because we're using coconut milk, uh, using a 60% cacao is better, will taste better than if we were using heavy cream. And it probably has to do with the fat content, I'm guessing. So. Hey, Steve, are you a chef? All right, so I'm simmering. We are going to pour in, oh, where's my spatula? Hi, dogs. What? The dog treats are cooling. What? This is the, this is the s'mores tart. I'm not making dog treats with chocolate. That would be bad. Okay, so that one's done. Production. We're gonna add in. Are they ready? They're like, I heard treats. Oh, this looks so delicious. Oh, look at this, I might successfully melt chocolate, people. Are you so, so excited? What was the winner? Dark chocolate is the winner? For real. I am so surprised. Look at how good this melted chocolate looks. Can you see it? Is production on top of it? All right, I do need to put in a teaspoon of vanilla. Can you see it? Can you see how delicious this looks? This dark chocolate ganache filling. And then this is gonna go in the fridge, okay? Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. Oh. Mmm, so good. Oh my gosh. Can't even. I might have made too much. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Do you want to come lick a spatula? Oh, okay. So now this is going to go, I made too much. It's too full. 
Um, <laughs> so now this is going to go. This is going <laughs> to get a spoon. Call the kids. Let the kids try it. <laughs> Dip the marshmallows in the extra. Oh, that's a great idea. Go call those kids. Have them, uh, they could dip uh, graham crackers in that extra too. Oh my gosh, I did. I totally just broke my, my chocolate curse. Yay! Okay, so this is gonna go in the fridge for an hour. And while this is cooking, we are going to hurry, <laughs> dip it in the Oreos. Dip the Oreos. Oh, oh go get an Oreo. Oh, all you have is the Oreos. No, don't we have any birthday cake Oreos still? Pretty sure we do. Pretty sure we still have birthday cake Oreos. Okay, this is going in the fridge now for an hour. Okay, and then we'll continue with the uh, the marshmallow meringue. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Production can't can't be bothered. Okay. Ah. Uh. Production can't be bothered with putting my stuff in the fridge. I mean, I love you. You know what I think we're gonna do while we're waiting too, is this is the filling for the dog treats. So we're gonna fill the dog treats and then put them in the freezer so they can set. Um, because the dog treats say that they should set um, until we're until we're ready to serve them. So I'm gonna fill the dog treats right now, and then we'll uh, move on. Okay? Did I turn this off? I did not. Why did nobody warn me that I didn't turn off my stove? Gah! So, thank you, Borealis. I had an open flame. Gah! Okay, so back to the dog treats. So these are the dog treats that uh, we started, the peanut butter pie dog treats that come from some site like Food Fun and Frenchy Farts or something like that. That might be totally wrong, but it's something, it's something like that. We <laughs> you got totally chocolate distracted. I know, I totally got chocolate distracted too because they turned out. I'm so excited that they... Didn't even, didn't even call the kids down to have them try. <laughs> oh, okay, so we have baked that and we have mashed banana and peanut butter, uh, chilled in the fridge until we're ready to put the filling into the pie crust. So do we need to pull these out? It says, it says to pull them out and then add the filling. Oh, probably to make it easier so that the dogs aren't going crazy while you're trying to take them apart. I don't know that that's necessary, though. So, it's very sticky, the crust on this, the applesauce and the um, oats. All right. These poopers are gonna love these. I'm actually going to give some of these to my friends with dogs. Uh, two because there's eight of them and these are not an everyday treat okay these are <laughs> these are a once in a <laughs> once in a while treat because it's a lot it's a lot for the dogs the applesauce and the even though I used unsweetened applesauce but the banana um, it all ends up being a lot for the dogs right so uh oh, my screen's gonna turn off here. Let me turn that back on. All right. Problem with the. Oh, so good, so chocolatey. These are for the dogs. So these ones, the the chocolate one, the chocolate tart that I was making, the s'mores tart, is for the humans in the house for later. <laughs> Production is totally distracted. Um, but these ones here are the peanut butter pie dog treats um, that were, uh, I think that there's a link somewhere um, for them. They came from a, a blog called something like Food Fun and Frenchy Farts. 
something of that nature. Um, so there's those. And we're just gonna call that good. And we're gonna put these in the freezer now. So that way they can, um, a miniature, I bet you could totally. And so really I was going to um, make, I was gonna half the recipe, but then I decided um, that I would um, just give some, share with friends, right? because I'm actually gonna go out and have breakfast with my friends um, on Friday and they all have dogs. And so I'm gonna give these to, uh, I'm gonna share with their dogs because I don't need, our dogs don't need more than one of these to be totally honest with you. So you misheard that as farts. No, that's what it is, Frenchie farts. It's something, it's uh, food fun and Frenchie farts is what it's called because the woman who runs the blog has Frenchies, so. What are you wanting about? Me sharing? Oh, and look, our pie is done. <laughs> oh, dog treat fail. Okay. <laughs> Vonna, thank you so much for gifting a sub to the husband. Our poopers get all of the treats. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, so here we go. This is the pie. This was the breakfast pie that our kids had. So I know it's tasty. This is what this was breakfast today for one of our kids. And then uh, the other one and I had the key lime. Delicious. It totally worked. All right, so the peanut butter pie dog treats are in the fridge or the freezer cooling. So we'll be ready to give them their treats um, probably about the same time that everything else gets done, right? So that's done. Yay, one down, check. Peanut butter pie dog treats. All right, now um, I feel like it might be a little bit too early to make the meringue for the tart yet because I want it to be cooled before I put the meringue on top of it. Um, so I need to wait on that. So I think we're gonna get started on the chicken pot pie. If that sounds all right to everyone. Um, I'm going to take just a minute break, I think. Maybe, maybe. Maybe I'm gonna take a minute break just to make sure that I have everything out. Yeah, I'm gonna take a minute break um, just so I can get all the rest of the stuff out of the fridge for the chicken pot pie um, because I need the celery and the peas and carrots and all of that stuff, okay? So, producer, okay, I can go. We're back, are you ready? Thank you so much for giving me a little break here so I could grab all this stuff from the fridge that I needed for this next section. Um, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you to be here. Have a good night. I know it's late. Thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> you're ready? You ready for this for the chicken pot pie to go? I am too. I am super excited um, to do this. Uh, I have never made a homemade chicken pot pie, so I'm pretty excited about it. So this recipe came from all recipes. Um, it's just, I think it looks like a pretty basic chicken pot pie to do. So we're just gonna get started here. It calls for um, half a cup of sliced celery. Uh, I really like celery, so this is probably gonna end up being a little bit more than half a cup. Um, it calls for, we're going to chop up some onion. It calls for a third of a cup. It's probably going to end up being about a half a cup. Um, the one thing it doesn't have in it is garlic. I put garlic in just about everything. Um, I know that there's somebody in our chat that has a garlic allergy and I'm very sad for you. Um, but we're just gonna, I'm going to add some garlic to it. Uh, I cheated and bought shredded carrots and then, uh, green peas as well. So... I'm just gonna chop. I 
And yes, I like the leaves. So we eat the leaves in this house because it's delicious. Okay, so that is probably more than a half a cup of sliced celery, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, so this is actually going to go into a saucepan with uh, the chicken and the carrots. So we're just gonna throw this right in the saucepan that Tango just cleaned for me. <laughs> um, so it's gonna go in here. We need to get this boiling because we need to get the chicken cooked. Um, I did pre-cut the chicken today because um, I'm a little bit weird with chicken and meat. So we're just gonna pour this in. This is about a pound of uh, chicken. Okay, I know I love the leaves of it. I always, especially if I'm making a soup or something, I always have, I always do the, um, the leaves in my soups. Okay, so the chicken and celery are in here. Um, we need, uh, how much carrots? I don't know how much carrots. A cup of sliced carrots. Feels like a cup. This is how I cook. Okay, not a lot of measurements in my cooking. And then we're gonna throw in the peas. Really, do we do the peas now? I feel like we shouldn't do the peas now. Mine chicken, carrots, peas, and celery, you sure do. All right. Peas, it wanted some peas. Oh, it only wanted a cup. Seems all right. Okay, and then it says put water in and we're gonna bring it to a boil. Nope, that's ice. It says water to cover and bring it to a boil. Sorry if you can't see me. Do you see the dogs? They're ready. <laughs> it just says water to cover on the recipe. And so we're going to put this here and bring it to a boil. And I have a lid here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so that's going to go to a boil. And while that is cooking, it wants us to melt butter and uh, in another saucepan and add the onion and cook until it's soft and translucent. So basically I'm kind of making, you know, if you've ever had a chicken pot pie, I'm making the, like the roux, the gravy that's in it. All right. Uh, Sonar, thank you so much for that gift sub. I appreciate it. Thank you all for all the follows tonight too. This is great. You guys are amazing. Celery will need to be removed from that recipe. I love celery. Celery is so good for you. What is the best way to get rid of stinky onion smell on one's hands? Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, hon. How are you? You missed the taste test on my chocolate ganache. It's delicious chocolate. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. <laughs> Dad ate the taste testing. Uh-huh. There's, <laughs> there's none left. I'm sorry. All right, so butter, we need um, half a cup of butter. Is that right? Is that what it says? A third of a cup of butter. All right, how many tablespoons are in a third of a cup? Third of a cup is five tablespoons plus one teaspoon. We'll say six, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are so good. Okay. <laughs> you weren't here. You lost out. Brassy Chassie, thank you so much for the 100 bitty bits. Really, I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So this, we're going to melt the butter in, and then we're going to add to it um, a third of a cup of cho chopped onion. So I'll put the butter in there and I'm gonna chop the onion at the same time. That pan is hot, 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 hot. 
uh, front. Oh, you know what we're supposed to be doing while this is happening is um, preheating to 425 degrees, which is 220 degrees Celsius for those of you. <laughs> Bake 425. All right, how's this doing? Is this boiling? Not yet. What are you doing? Awesome. You're frightening me. What are you making? Onion smell on hands. I am making the chicken pot pie right now. I'm making our dinner. Oh. All right, so now I need a third of a cup of onion. Yeah. So I'm going to get yelled at for how I cut onions. I know it. Somebody's going to yell at me. You're going to have to deal with it because this is how I do it. He totally wants the onion. All right. I know. Main Steve has tons of knowledge. Okay. Onions chopped. No, 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 I'm cooking with the... Okay. Onions are in. Oh. Okay. This is hot. Do you think I should add more onions? Uh, yes. <laughs> it says the guy who just ate a raw I onion. My t-shirt is fantastic. You know why? Because I'm making chicken pot pie today. I love it. Okay. So, that's cooking. I would like another spoon. What? Can you smell it? I know. Kaya says, where is my treats? Okay, so that's cooking there. I think I'm done shopping for now. Um, I am going to, I do have furry vultures. Um, that needs to get that put away. That needs to get put away. All right, so I am cheating and I am not making my own pie crust because uh, pie crust has to be made typically the day before and I didn't have enough time, uh, honestly. Um, and I thought if I'm not going to show myself putting the work in of making a pie crust, I sure am just going to cheat on it. So that's what's happening right now is that we're going to cheat with the pie crust. Um, all right. So this is cooking. The oven has been preheated. Onion. I mean, I'm going to add some garlic to here too because I don't know why it doesn't have garlic in it. I cheated. I love the pre-minced garlic. You should find this. It makes it so much easier to deal with garlic. <laughs> well, that smells just delicious. All right, this is still cooking over here. I don't think it's boiling yet. No. Nope. We're going to turn that up just a smidge. Turn you down just a smidge. Okay, so what's next here? Wish from the sea. Thank you so much. 25 months. I appreciate it. I love the pre minced garlic. It really, yeah, you totally need it. Did you like it? Did everybody get that? This is the one from Walmart. 
Um, I know that uh, Fry's or Ralph's or whatever it's called where you're at, Kroger, um, has it. Um, I didn't know that Costco sold minced garlic, Mirax. I haven't seen it. Tango totally approves of the garlic. Yes, it has made life a lot easier. <laughs> Suddenly you're hungry. <laughs> Is it huge? Yeah. Well, you know. Um, okay, so that's still cooking. This, I need to stir in the salt, flour, salt, pepper, and celery seed. I am going to, hey, why, why are you down there? Okay, I'm going to throw some pepper in here. I'm not making. Hmm. Okay. So I'm doing pepper. Okay, thank you. I'm doing uh, celery seed. It calls for a quarter of a teaspoon of celery seed. So I'm putting that in. Um, I am going to put in some herbs de Provence too because I think it tastes great. And um, I'm going to use chicken salt for my salt. Uh, chicken salt is something from Australia. Uh, Ori sent this to us for Christmas. Um, and I'm going to use this on um, in the recipe because it seems like an appropriate place to use it. Um, I used it when I made, um, I made chicken salad and I uh, used it. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use this <laughs> in here. Um, how much salt did I need? Uh, da, 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 half a teaspoon. Are you a half a teaspoon? No, you're a quarter. Here, half. What? I got thank yous. What kind of thank yous do I have? Kaysen, thank you for 500 bitty bits. And Fred Karoon, thank you so much for five gift subs. Holy moly. Is this another hype train? Y'all are amazing. Ooh, that just hit me in my eye. Welcome to cooking at my house. Okay, I need to add flour to this, and I want to say it's a third of a cup of flour that I add to this. Where's the flour? Third of a cup of flour. So I'm going to stir that into here, too. This is my flour. It's all-purpose flour. Um, it's probably... Uh, uh, King Arthur's flour because that's the flour I prefer um, but that's just my own personal preference um, I feel like that wasn't full all right so what's happening over here is that um, it's kind of making like a like a roux I don't know if you've ever made a, a gravy or a roux you know how when you put the flour into it it kind of breaks it um, until you add some liquid in and I believe that I should be adding um, some more liquid to this in just a minute. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. Um, I do not have a link for the chicken pot pie recipe on Discord though, but it's just from all recipes. Um, just cause I wanted to pick something super easy. Mocha Vibes, thank you for that gift sub. Genesis, 1500 bitty bits. Oh my gosh, and Doctor, five gift subs. And Red for Fun, 22 months. And Danny Rose, 100 bitty bits. And Nursing Geek, 100 bitty bits. What is happening? Oh, that hype train is going crazy. Thank you so much. Okay, I need to throw in uh, chicken broth and milk before this, uh, before this burns. So the chicken broth I need is uh, one and three quarters of a cup of chicken broth and two thirds of a cup of milk. So I had to buy milk because I don't usually keep milk in the house. So milk was two thirds of a cup. Okay, two thirds of a cup, we'll give that a stir. As soon as this gets done, I'll show you what it looks like because it's, it's turning creamy here. All right, move that out of the way. And the, I can't remember, I know I just said it, one and three quarters of a cup of broth. All right, and so I'm just using chicken stock for this. Um, I, f I think chicken stock has a little bit less salt content than chicken broth does. Um, just so you know, I need a cup. 
I need to put this in for a cup and three quarters. Cup, three quarters. All right, and really, if I was if I was cooking and not talking at the same time that I'm cooking, I probably would have slowly put that in and used a whisk so that I could make this um, a little bit slower, I wanna say, is what I would have done. How do I keep Oreos <laughs> in the house? Oh. Oh, this looks so amazingly good. Okay, I'll show it to you in just a minute. Uh, Lady DW, a thousand bitty bits? Are you for real? Oh my gosh, yes, you can do it. 178 bitty bits, because why not? Uh, Sonar, 100 bitty bits. Brezzy Chassis with three subs. Mean Steve with 200 bitty bits. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you so much. All right, this over here looks like it's starting to boil. Trying to, trying to. I probably should give it a stir. I'm gonna take this off for just a minute. Maybe like five. Um, let me reach in here and give this a stir. All right, let's see. So this is the chicken and um, celery and carrots and peas mixture here that it said that we need to bring to a boil and then we're going to uh, strain it and put it into the cream mixture over here, the filling that we're making. Let me put two hands on and I'm going to show you what this cream mixture looks like. So this is what this is what I'm doing in the this is the chicken broth milk, um, the onion, the butter, uh, uh, salt and pepper, garlic, and celery seed. Oh, and the flour. And then I also put in herbs de Provence because I like it. I know that's not in the recipe, but a lot of times I just add stuff to recipes. Okay. Um, Even Star, thank you for your follow. I appreciate it. You want to drink it? It looks so good, doesn't it? I agree. I think it looks amazing. Okay, so we're stirring that. I feel like I want it to cook a little bit longer. Um, slowly stir in chicken broth and milk. I did uh, reduce heat to medium low and simmer until thick, about five to 10 minutes. All right, we need to simmer it. Simmer, okay, simmer, simmer. That's almost done there. What's happening? What's your favorite pie? What's winning? Key lime? Is your favorite pie key lime? And why not? If pecan had been an option, oh, you think that would have won? Pecan is so sweet, though. Isn't it? Don't you think? <laughs> you make a second bowl with only savory pies? You should do one. Well, you should do one, like, cream pie options, like a French silk and a banana and a coconut. Um, but then you do a fruit pie and that could have your lemon meringue and your key lime and apple, right? Key lime is my favorite, hundred percent. Um, you love the coconut cream pie. I know <laughs> it's going to flag that blackberry pie. You know, what? um, somebody, there was, um, a place that we went, so there's a pie place here um north of phoenix um that claims to have the best pies in the world um tango never lets me stop there but he did once once in the last 19 years he let me stop there um well he was driving so i know we do have places to be um and they had a mixed berry pie it was so good oh we totally need smell-o-vision Cassander. totally need smell-o-vision thank you so much for those bitty bitty bits <laughs> Okay, we're done. Why does he gotta freak me out like that? God. <sighs> Mixed berry pie with a French vanilla ice cream. Mmm. 
What's the, what's the pie place called? It's called Pie Place off of I-17 in, uh, in uh, Black Canyon. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's like the only thing there. It's amazing. But it's off of the I-17. Um, so good. So good. Um, okay, so we're doing that. Oh. It so good. It does smell so good. So, like, it never told me, like, do I need to pre-cook the bottom crust on this? Is that what I need to do? Look out for that ladder you put there. Two crust pie. Trim. Oh, that's Amazon. I don't think I have to. Right? It's a two crust pie, so I don't think I have to do anything. I'm going to say I don't have to do anything. Um, add this place to your travel itinerary? I know. <laughs> My doorbell is barking. <laughs> All right. Um, what am I waiting for here? We still have the chocolate ganache is chilling. It's chilling in the fridge. Uh, the dog treats are chilling. We have, that is done. I need to drain that and then, ooh, this has thickened up nicely. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so I'm going to drain that and put it into the cream filling. I need to switch hands. I don't know why I did that, because I'm putting two on. All right. Oh, I lost some peas. I'm sure the kids won't mind. Oh, that smells good. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so delicious. All right. That's the peas, carrots, celery all going in there. That's off, that's off. We're gonna turn that down. Oh, this looks so good. I kind of just want to eat it as a stew, as a chowder. Give me a sec, I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here it is. Oh, holy moly, it smells so delicious. I feel like I probably need some salt. That's from my smell o vision I think it needs some salt. Okay, so they are in there. Oh, I wasn't supposed to mix it. I was supposed to pour the hot liquid mixture over the top. I didn't do that. Okay, so we're gonna turn that off and I am going to fill my, we're gonna go here and do our pie crust here, okay? Put this over here. And lurking, what were the other pies? So uh, I made a peanut butter uh, pie dog treat, and I will show you that to you um, in a few. I made a s'mores tart with toasted marshmallow meringue, which I have not made the meringue yet because the ganache is still chilling. And so I kind of didn't, I can't put the, you can't put the meringue on top of hot ganache, right? Because it'll melt. And so once, once I get this into the oven, then we'll start making the meringue because then I think it's been about 40 minutes since we put that in the fridge. Um, and then right now we're making a chicken pot pie. Team peas, I love peas. Do you like peas? I love peas. All right, and I cheated with crust, just as a reminder. I cheated on the crust. And I bought the, the Pillsbury pie crusts, which are delicious. Done. <laughs> oh, mushy peas with onion and garlic salt. Mm.
All right, so now we've got our pies. Did uh, somebody escape? Did both of them? Oh. Hyper. Everything is good. I wonder if I was supposed to grease this pan. I feel like I probably should have greased this pie pan. Should I have? Maybe not. Trim it. Wrap excess. Yeah. Doesn't say it. I'm going to do it. Peas, butter, and more butter, and black pepper. <laughs> what about a little bit of sugar? Or, I mean, salt. Not sugar, because that would be gross. The poopers flew the coop. They certainly did. Okay, so now we're going to put the, the delicious inside into here. Does that sound all right? I'm going to move that to there. Move, 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 move. Don't need that knife. Move you to there. I need a towel. There it is. All right. Towel there. Oh, maybe I should do it the other way, right? Was there a pee hole? Yeah, do we like peas? <laughs> That's a different stream. Uh, I think there was. There's been much talk about peas. Uh, Rock Springs Cafe, yes. That's it. Yes. Yep, people did the Google Foo. All right, look at how amazing this looks. Are you so ready for dinner? So good. It was nice about cooking dinner at four o'clock in the afternoon. My kid can tell me at five o'clock in the afternoon that he's not going to eat <laughs> what I've made. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to eat that. Oh, that looks so amazing. Can you see that? Is production on top of the uh, camera? Okay. Look at how good that looks. Are you so jealous of our dinner tonight? Oh. Where, did I, where do I keep putting these scissors away? I keep needing. You eat your peas with honey? I've never heard of that. You're inspired to make some pies now? Awesome. <laughs> I am like a pro. What's happening? All right. Who would? I know. Well, Piper smells the carrots and peas and... That is totally a professional pie pinching job. Do you see that? <laughs> totally professional. I pinched the pie. All right, now... Say hi to who? Hi, Calvin. How are you? Okay, we're gonna draw our little pie symbol in the top of it. Well, because you've got to let your pie. Uh, oh, it's, it's a pie symbol. That I knew what the pie symbol was. No. It is. It's to help air escape from it. It explodes. No idea. No idea what happens. 
<laughs> I just made it up. Okay, now this goes in the oven for 35 minutes. Okay. All right, timer. We're going to check it at 30, though, just because. All right. Oh, that's toasty. Toasty on the hands. All right. So now everything's cooking. I still have to make the meringue for the s'mores pie. What? An egg wash. I didn't do an egg wash. Should I have done an egg wash? What do I do for an egg wash? Should I have done it? For the top of the pie. How do I do an egg wash? Don't bother? You don't bother it? Okay. Main Steve. Main Steve. It just makes it shiny. It doesn't matter. I mean, I can wash an egg. Just makes it look better. Eh, it's going into my belly. It doesn't. Yeah, not needed for pot pie. Okay. It can't, does it keep it from burning? That was my question. Was does it keep it from burning? Really? Yes. It's a looks thing. Okay. Okay. Too expensive. <laughs> I know. Yes, I agree. Okay. So this one is done. Yay! Wouldn't bother, fantastic. Okay, so that can go over there. Now, the s'mores tart, we're gonna take a peek at the ganache. Let's see how the ganache oh, is going. Gosh. Oh. <laughs> what do you think of that? How does that look? It still feels kind of warm, but maybe by the time I get done making the um, meringue, it'll be cool enough. Okay, so we're going to put it back in the fridge and make the meringue. So I need eggs. What else do I need here? I don't need milk. I don't need that. Hey, did you see my little helper? All right. Ganache, ganache, ganache looks delicious. Okay, what am I doing here? <sighs> okay, we're making the marshmallow meringue. So we need to make the marshmallow meringue, add one and a half inches of water to a three quart pot, bring it to a simmer over medium low heat. It's helpful to place a crumbled ring of aluminum foil in the bottom to help prop up the mixing bowl. Okay. Combine egg whites, sugar, salt, and cream of tartar in the bowl of a stand mixer and place it over the water. Got it. So I have my stand mixer bowl here. Okay. Um, and I am going to combine eight large egg whites and um, all the other stuff that it said into here. And then we're going to put it over boiling water or simmering water. Ah! Man down, man down. Production, man down, man down. Okay. Please hold. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. I don't know. Yeah, it's still there. What is happening? Oh, dear Lord. Oh. Okay, so while that's doing, I need to wash this pan, this pot, again. It didn't even have top cam on. See, that, that's how good the production team is. It knew it was going to happen. So you didn't even turn it on? I turned it on. I pre-charged I pre it off. Huh. All right, so I'm going to wash this pan so we can use it for uh, the boiling aspect of the next portion of our fun. Do we need a production break? Nah, nah, we'll make it work, right? I'm just going to wash the dishes while we're here, right? 
just like every good cook, home cook. You wash while you go. Pay no attention to the pile of dishes in my, uh, I don't need more pots and pans. I don't want to wash more pots and pans. All right, so that one's washed. Okay. Um, so now it says that we need to do, um, what do we need to do? I don't know. That camera falling just threw me for a loop. Tango Tech. Oh, production is muted? Okay, it's all fixed. We don't need to do anything now? The dogs are fighting. I mean, playing. Okay, so I need to put water in here, bring it to a boil. Um, hello, Andy, how are you? Um, Tango can wash, I know, that's what he did. He did the, when we took a break before, he washed them for me. Uh, all right, so I need an inch and a half of water. I'm terrible at measuring, so. Ha! Huh. Production. Production. This is super. Super. Is it on? It is. Are they getting, are they getting the floor cam? They sure are. Nice. I didn't clean the floors. <laughs> Everything's fine. Production's on it. Uh -huh. oh. Well, so how's it going? <laughs> All right. I am going to do eggs in this bowl now. I don't know what you're doing. And it said to crumple up some paper, some foil. Look at that, I made a ring of foil. Not a ring of fire, a ring of foil. Instead of put it in there to help prop up. Okay. I need to start that uh, simmering. What are you doing? Oh, Joe, I made 47 trips back to the office now to see how that looks. Okay. Oh my goodness, what's even happening here? Oh, come on. This is not a professional quality production. I'm just going to say that. What is even happening? Do you like my, my chicken pot pie shirt? Because I made chicken pot pie. I think this is going to fall again. It's going to fall again. Do you see that? I think you need duct tape. Duct tape. Duct tape. OK, we're going to do some eggs here. And uh, I need egg whites only. Egg whites only. Look what I have. I have an egg white. I have an egg separator. This egg separator is probably 50 years old. I'm pretty sure I took it from my parents' house. It is old. Do I have the card where the eggs came from? Uh, the grocery store? Oh, I could go there. Enter the farm name on the side of the carton. Uh, see a farm. Vital farms? Is that what you need? What are you talking about? I can't read that. It says farm vital farms. Is there a code that you wanted? I don't know what you're wanting. Can you see it? Thank you. They're really good eggs, I'm glad. <laughs> I could use my hands. I could use my hands. I don't know, that seems. I could just try my best at making it, but look. Hardly any yolk made it in. I know, shh, Lomax, shh. Don't call me out like that. Yeah. Snotty. Blech. OK. 
Come on. Separate. That's so snotty. We're going to call that one good. Because I need eight of them. Maybe I should just use my hands because this would take a while. Hardly any yolk. Shh. Shh. There's hardly any yolk. <laughs> Tango is an expert at cracking eggs. No, he is not. He is not an expert at cracking eggs. Don't let anybody tell you that, especially him. <laughs> no. No, I don't. Okay, there you go. All right, I'm using my hands now, people. That's what you wanted. They are. My hands are better. Oh, except for that shell I just got in there. Snotty. How many eggs have I done? One, two, three, four. This is five. Oh, that's a lot of shell. <laughs> that's a whole lot of shell right there. Shells for flavor. We're having crunchy style meringue tonight. Come on out. Come and knock on my door. <laughs> There's another shell in here. I can see it. It's just a little one, though. We're going to call it good. <sighs> Come on. Oh, there's another shell. I am super good at cracking eggs. How will they know? They'll never know. I mean, you all know. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a big one. Oh, that's a lot of yolk. <laughs> Shh. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It'll be great. Oh, that chicken pot pie smells delicious. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm done. What? There's hardly any yolk. That's a whole lot of egg. It's like ten dollars worth of egg right there. I'm just kidding. It's not. I gotta wash the egg off my hands. All right. Shh. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Ooh, I have a lot of uh. <laughs> got a lot of yolk there. Oh, I forgot to turn this on. Come on, light up. There we go. All right, I gotta wipe up this egg over here because it's slimy. I got egg everywhere. It is egg expensive. All right. Okay, so that is in. 
Oh, uh, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. I'm going to stiff it up. Um, okay. So that's going to go to a simmer. Egg whites. Sugar, salt, cream of tartar in the bowl and place it over the water. The water's not simmering yet. We're going to call it good. Um, all right. A quarter a teaspoon of cream of tartar. This was the only thing of cream of tartar I could find. I don't know if it's a holiday special that you can get cream of tartar, but. All right. Quarter of a teaspoon, right? Is that what it said? Egg white, sugar, salt, cream of tartar. Quarter of a teaspoon. Check. Half a teaspoon of salt. What? Half a teaspoon of salt. Um, sugar. Oh, it needs a lot of sugar. It needs one and three quarters of a cup of sugar. Are you prepared? Uh, you have a poop emergency? Oh. Okay. Half a cup. One cup. This is a s'mores tart with toasted marshmallow meringue. Oh my gosh, why do you gotta break stuff? One and a half cups. Yikes. One and three quarters cups. <laughs> so here's the question. Our kid was asking for Kool-Aid. And I said, no. Russ never sleeps. Thank you so much for those 300 bitty bits nine minutes ago. I'm sorry I missed that. Um, it's a lot. Can't have s'mores without s'more sugar. That's right. Okay. Do I put the vanilla in here too, or do I wait? I have to beat in the vanilla later. Okay. All right. So while this is going for the marshmallow meringue, I have added the water. I am trying to bring it to a simmer. I combine egg white, sugar, salt, cream of tartar in a bowl of a stand mixer placing it over the water, working constantly, stir and scrape down the sides of the bowl with a rubber spatula until the mixture is slim, is thin and foamy, not slim and foamy, foamy. Yeah, work. work it. This should take about 10 minutes. I gotta work it. Mmm. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. That's a little bit hot. Okay. This is granular is the word I would use to describe it. Granular. Hi. Do you need a drink? <laughs> Good with my yoki action. Oh, I can't even deal with that. <laughs> You're ready for the blowtorch? Yeah. Okay. So this is what's happening on top of the stove right now. This is uh, a ton of sugar, salt, cream of tartar, and eight egg whites with a little bit of a uh, yolk because... We're going to make it work. Okay. All right. 
And then once this starts, um, whatever it is that it's supposed to do, I don't know what that is, but um, then we're gonna put it in the stand mixer and uh, whip it into stiff peaks, right? Yes, that's what's happening here. If there's yolk, it will never stiff up. Well, never say never. Let's see what let's see what we can do. We're gonna we're gonna make it work, okay? I mean, I got my chocolate. My chocolate succeeded today, so we're going to. Uh, sorry, this is chocolate. I am making, right now I am making a uh, s'mores tart with toasted marshmallow meringue is what I'm making right now. I have a chicken pot pie in the oven baking for our dinner tonight. Ooh, it looks delicious. And then I also made um, peanut butter pie dog treats. I don't know, do you wanna look in the freezer? Do you wanna take a peek at them? Let's take a, let's take a peek, see. So here is one of the peanut butter pie dog treats. And so this was just, the crust is oatmeal or oat flour and applesauce, unsweetened applesauce. And the filling is peanut butter, that's safe for dogs, and uh, banana mashed together. So the dogs are going to get a treat today of peanut butter pie. So, I mean, they're sleeping right now. One of them is. One of them is prepping for the deliciousness that they're gonna get. Um, well, we'll see how it goes. We'll just see. We'll make do with whatever happens. It'll be delicious. Everybody, you know? Everybody wins. everybody wins. That's right. Um, so, what kind of pie are you making? Are you making pizza pie today? I know. We're doing pizza later this week. Um, as good as your my chicken pot chicken pie. Pot pie. <laughs> you had an apple. You had an apple. I'm good till Tuesday. <laughs> I'm waiting now. I'm waiting for this to do something. Oh, it's doing things. On the pot pie. Not on this. Oh, I gotta work this. That's right. I need some Missy Elliott. That's. I don't know what it's supposed to look what, like. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it's supposed it to look like. like. Yep. And sugar. I don't know what it's supposed to look like though. But I gotta work it. Come over here and work it for the camera. Ah! I don't know what's that supposed to be. Is that supposed to get like white? And... No idea. It's probably not going to get white because I have yolk in there. That's what they say. That's what they're telling me. It's not going to work. But I've got faith. It's all part of the journey. Hi. Welcome, readers. Who's reading? I can't see that. Parsnip? How are you, Parsnip? How have you been? Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm working my uh, meringue right now over uh, boiling water. I don't really know why you have to do this. I've never made meringue, so maybe this is something you have to do. It's garden patch love time. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. What were you playing, Parsnip? I'm yelling like I don't have a microphone on my chest right now.
I don't know what this is supposed to look like. It's to pasteurize the whites to melt the sugar into it. Oh. Ah. I have never made meringue before. I love meringue. I need to whisk it hard. Without yolk. Huh. How that, how that yep. Yep, that non yolk's working great right now. Shh. You could you could zip it. Oh, this should take about it has to reach 175 degrees. I don't have out my temperature thermometer. Nope, sure haven't. This is an experiment. Why would I make something that I've made before in front of all these people? Exactly. Who would do that? Oh, this seems really hot. I would guess that it's 175 degrees. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. It's not so granular anymore. I feel like the chemical process has taken place. Let's see what the temperature is. Oh, it's only 130 degrees right now. Oh, it's still going up. 160. Just need a couple more minutes. Okay. We're almost to 175 degrees. I am. There's egg bits in here. It's gonna be. It's Shoals gonna be an. And yolk. And... It's gonna be delicious. Oh, it looks. Just you can. Like sh a, you can. Like sh you don't have to eat any of it. I will take care of it for you. I hope it finishes before my pot pie is done. I tire of the stirring. Eggshells add texture. I know. It's good to have crunchy bits in it. Tango's totally going to be denied dessert tonight, Serafira. Totally. Bye, Parsnip. Thank you so much. <laughs> Parsnip was playing Phasmo? See? Oh. See? Dang it. Tango's trying to get me to play Phasmo. Well, Tango and Skiz are trying to get me to play Phasmo. Yep. <clears throat> oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't know if you learn anything from me except for how to not play a game, right? Couples Phasmo. Hmm. I don't like zombies. Have you, have I told you that? I don't like zombies. It's also a first person game, which worries me. Has anybody that gets sick playing first person game gotten sick playing Phasmo? You say that. And then I'm going to throw up on your shoes. Oh my gosh, I feel like I should be done. Oh. Okay, I'm going to pull this off now and we're going to put it on the stand mixer actually. Maybe the husband will carry that heavy stand mix. Oh, I don't have a plug over here to yes. use. Yeah. Uh, we could unplug this. Okay, let's unplug this. We can plug that over here. Ugh, I can't. 
You can't get that. Oh, yep, that's yep, great. Yep, Nobody yep. needs that. Nobody that's needs good. that. Shh. Production. Wrong screen. There Production. we go. Everything's great. You're doing a good job. <laughs> oh, my pie is done. Oh, my gosh. I can't. I need to be stirring. My pie is done. I know I hear you. Okay, is the camera okay? Uh, no, it's cool. It's a black screen. No one needs to see anything. Perfect. I just have to reinitialize everything from scratch. It's great. Uh. Awesome. Favorite part. Well, good. They can't see my meringue then. All right, that's off. I need to pull the pie out of the oven, but I need to get the meringue into the mixer. All right, meringue's going into the mixer now. Um, transfer the bowl to a stand mixer fix with the whisk attachment. Look, whisk attachment right here. It's right here. I don't have a camera. Just hold on. What? No, they haven't had them yet. You're afraid of the dark screen. Technical difficulties are being taken care of right now. What? Uh, I don't know. Dad is working on a camera. I think the top camera is on. I don't know. I don't know what's working right now. Sure. Okay. All right, so now this says it wants us to start on low speed and working up to high. So we're gonna lock it. And we're gonna go like that. You think the black screen is being <laughs> dangerous? <laughs> the top is working? Okay, but it says the vanilla doesn't go in until uh, until I'm done with the meringue. You have circle of spinniness, fantastic. Look, the meringue is meringuing. I mean, it's trying to, right? We'll turn it up one. Um, we need to take out the, um, the pot pie. <gasps> oh my gosh, it looks so amazing. All right, I'll take it out in a minute when we get, when we get the other uh, camera back, okay? How's it going? Um, move it back some. Is that better? Can you see it? <laughs> this stream is wonderful. The black screen is amazing. <laughs> I have delicious dinner coming. All right. I know he needs to leave in 15. All right. Starts at 5:30. They're going earlier over break. Look at this pie, people. Look at this chicken pot pie. What? I made this. Come, come take a peek, see. Oh, you can't go. Okay. You can't go over there. Here you go. Take a look at that. It's the filling. It's the pie filling. This chicken pot pie looks amazing. Well, at least something succeeded today, right? I've got chicken pot pie of deliciousness. So once again, the pot pie recipe that I used, that I based off of, was from all recipes. Um, I did add garlic to it and herbs to Provence. Um, and I used chicken salt instead of regular salt in it. Um, it does look amazing. So we have to cool for 10 minutes before we serve it up. Uh, you might not be eating until after.
All right, we're gonna put that pie there. I'm gonna turn off the light. What? No, we are, well, the dogs have been over here looking for dropsies. The judges? Okay, we're meringuing. Oh, I missed. Danier, thank you so much for your bitty bits. Mirax, thank you for your bitty bits. That's 500 pie, of course. You got so good, your chocolate. I know, my chocolate. Pop -pop. Skizzle Man just raided me with 370 Skizzle people. Man. Skiz! Skiz! Oh, you're Skiz, check out this pie I made for dinner. Show me your pie. <laughs> check out my pie, people. Mmm, chicken pot pie. That's what's happening here, chicken pot pie. Um, it's so loud because I have meringue being made right now. Um, but this is dinner tonight for the family. I made chicken pot pie. And then check out what we're making right now. Right now we're making um, s'mores tart with toasted marshmallow. Do you wanna see what we have right now? Here is our delicious crust and ganache. And then right now we're making the marshmallow meringue, which may or may not work out. We will see. We're gonna see how it goes. So this is what we're happening, it's happening now. And then we also made, what did we make? Here they are. We made peanut butter pie dog treats. So this is a little dog treat for our poopers later. So the crust is oat flour and applesauce unsweetened and the filling is peanut butter and mashed banana. It's gonna be so great. I know, well, I know. <laughs> Mini Tango wanted wow. to taste the dog treats. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, production is killing me. Richard Thornton, thank you so much for that gift sub. Impulse rated me with 687 people. What is happening, you guys? So many raids, now I have to show off again. So the noise is from the meringue that's being meringued right now. I'll turn it off briefly so I don't have to yell. Okay. I'll just turn it down to one. I'll turn it to low. Okay. Oh, thank you for all those gift subs. Holy moly, 20 gift subs. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now, so what I did, because it's pie day, I'm baking pies. So I baked our dinner. We made a chicken pot pie for dinner tonight. Um, and it is delicious, or it looks delicious. It smells delicious. Um, I got the recipe from all recipes. And so this is dinner. And then we have dessert for later. And that's what the meringue is for. So this is the s'mores tart with toasted marshmallow meringue. So right now this is the graham cracker crust and the chocolate ganache. And then we are meringuing right now here on the mixer. And Come on by. Come on by, we got lots of stuff. Lots of and then, for the dogs, we made peanut butter pie dog treats. And they are super excited about this. By Candace, thank you so much for that gift sub. Um, oh, I'm gonna say this wrong. Jay Langle, thank you for those bitty bits. I super appreciate it. Um, anyway, so that's what we did today. We are on, we're just finishing up with this last uh, tart because I need to get the meringue made, which I'm told is probably not going to meringue at all. So we're gonna give our best shot and hope for the best. I can't wait. What's the matter? That's the double boiler from the meringue. That's just water and tin foil. What's the matter? I was cooking tin foil because that's what the instructions said. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that it's going to work. It needs to go on high speed. I know, but it's so loud. So loud. 
Thank you all so much for those follows. Oh my gosh, El Gordo, thank you for those five gift subs. I'm sorry this mixer is so loud. Did that help? Oh my gosh. Uh, the Going Gray, thank you for your Prime sub. I'm missing... I'm missing all the rest of these. Thank you all so much for these follows. There's no way I can possibly keep up with them today. You guys are amazing. Amazing. It's not as loud as I think it is? Okay, because it's really loud here in my house. Okay? <laughs> I know, I feel like this meringue's gonna take forever. It is so much amazing. I did do cre I did cream of tartar in it. That's in there. The mic is making it work. Okay, good. Yeah, I know, the mic is doing great. Uh, Noises sent us this mic. I am very excited, because this mic seems to be fantastic. Vanilla will go in after the, uh, in, after it gets beaten is when the vanilla will come in. I know, thanks for the mic. The mic is amazing, Noises. I totally appreciate it. So, what are y'all having for dinner tonight? For pie day? Did, pie? Did you make chicken pot pie? Are you having a pizza pie? You went to Costco to get pie? Because they had a new, oh, did they? They had zero pies? Oh. I didn't see, you're having Chipotle. <laughs> I didn't see uh, peanut butter pie the last time I was there, but I haven't been there in a little while. You had halouski, is that what that said? Your wife made a chicken pot pie and a strawberry pie, yum. And pizza, I want pizza. I haven't made chili in a while. You made burgers and cookie bars, that sounds good. Having a stew, bananas. Nice, pizza pie, yum. Chicken and couscous, no pies, no pies. Jim's strawberry pie, no pie today. <laughs> you had a pizza pie? I totally want a pizza pie. Chocolate peanut butter pie Oreos, yes. Chocolate peanut butter pie Oreos are good. We did pie for breakfast too. Um, I had a key lime, a piece of key lime pie and um, I know. There must be somebody in front of the house. <laughs> oh no! Too early to talk about dinner? <laughs> bark, bark, bark! Bark, bark! <laughs> I'm sorry. The dogs are crazy. Hi, Kaya. Is it almost time? Is it almost time for some pie? I don't know how people meringue by hand. That would take forever to meringue by hand. You're making chocolate silk pie, yum. I love chocolate silk pie, they both are. They're both barking. It's thickening up nicely. I don't know if it'll get totally uh, Lal suggests uh, seven to eight minutes on high. Okay, it is on high. It's on the highest speed I can get it. So hopefully, your husband's frying up spaghetti. Ooh. <laughs> they had a look of concern, yeah. Oh. The sugar is already in there, average thing. That's why it was on the stove. I was boiling it together. I did cream of tartar too. There's a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar in there. I'm going for whatever meringue works. I do want to do I, I do want it to have peaks because I uh, I have a torch for fun today. We're gonna torch for fun. I don't have a chat anymore. Oh okay. I know, I can't wait. I haven't done the torch. Tango thinks he's gonna get to do the torch, but he is wrong. He does not get to use the torch. Hey, you need to go get ready. It starts at 5.30 tonight. Okay. The dogs are 
bonkers. It is zoomy time out in the yard right now. Oh, uh, I think my meringue's gonna meringue. I think it's just gonna take a while. Tango, let me have fire? Yeah, I borrowed a, a torch from somebody. Exactly. Tango plus a torch? No. No. You get no fire. What are the favorite pies? I can't say, banana cream pie, really? Huh, we've seen, <laughs> you've seen how he rockets? No torches for you. <laughs> oh, the banana cream one this round, that's interesting. Do we have more pie hats? It's not peaky yet. It's thickening up nicely. We're gonna do a couple more minutes. <laughs> Any pie that ends with pie. Strawberry rhubarb, yes. The cream pies always win. Cherry pie. <laughs> no torches for him, I know. You love a good blueberry? I love, key lime pie is my favorite and lemon meringue are my favorite pies. Chocolate pecan pie, is that what I saw just fly by there? Peanut butter pie? I know, it's so crazy. Bourbon banana cream pie. That sounds amazing. Chocolate cream pie. I thought about, so uh, our youngest did a chocolate cream pie for breakfast today. I mean, we slaved over it. <laughs> he needs his eyebrows. <laughs> Coconut pie, steak and kidney all the way. Yep, we are uh, an apple dapple pie. Caramel, sli caramel slice minus the pie. <laughs> shepherd's pie, oh, I could have made a shepherd's pie today or a cottage pie. I did chicken pot pie. I'm super excited about chicken pot pie. This is totally thickening up. I don't know if it's gonna be, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be as fluffy as I'm hoping for, but it's working. We'll see how it goes. Giving you the midnight munchies. <laughs> oh, you've only had shepherd's pie once. Shepherd's pie is super easy to make. Actually, uh, I usually make a cottage pie because I don't, I don't do lamb, and that's what's in a shepherd's pie is lamb. Um, but you could do a cottage pie. We do that with ground beef and mashed potatoes and vegetables and then uh, gravy. Uh, and I usually use a gluten-free gravy mix. It is working. Isn't it exciting? Kahlua pecan, is that what just passed through there? Kahlua pecan? Your dogs love cottage pie? Mmm, cottage pie is delicious. Super easy to make, too. So, so easy to make. Why are, uh, wow. Martha Washington left an awesome, really? Is it working? It is, it's thickening up. It's not getting peaky like I expected by now, but that's probably because I have too many uh, yolks in it. But it seems to be working, it's thickening up. Pineapple coconut pie, ooh, yum. I know, give it some more time, thanks Lala. I'm impatient, can you tell? I wanna get to the, to the torchy. Pecan pie, yes. Pecan pie is so, uh, so sweet though. It takes longer with the yolks. <laughs> I did my best, I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. There might be some yolks in there. Might be. Shh. Shh. An Oreo cream pie. That sounds so good. So, so good. We're going to test, uh, have a few chocolate chips here for the time being. Pick that up. Thank you. Heat the bowl with the torch. Mmm. <laughs> huh? 
appetizers. These are uh, appetizers. These yolks will make it almost impossible. It's thickening up. We'll see how it goes. I gotta make sure it's still tasty. Got to create a decked out pie. What would that have in it? If I were to make a, today is a cheat day. <laughs> yep, sure is. I decided to cheat. Oh, bye. Thank you so much for being here, Zuzu. I appreciate it. Have a good night. I know you better. You should test all the chocolate chips. What do you need, hun? Where did I put what? The chocolate chips? They're right there. On the counter. Over there. Do you see the bag? No. Buffalo, you think you think Ravager tastes like buffalo? <laughs> cheesecake. Someday I'll make a cheesecake on stream. We'll do it in the instant pot. I did that once, it was delicious. The chocolate, exactly, that's what I'm thinking, Lala. Like, the chocolate tart, even if this doesn't turn out, it's gonna be so good, so good. Steak chili filling, interesting. Do you wanna see? I mean, it's thick, but it's still very runny. So, we might, uh, oh, it's really tasty. You know, so maybe, maybe it's just going to be a layer and maybe it won't be, uh, it won't be fluffy. I think we're just going to call it. Right? What did Lala say? I missed it. I could try again. Another 10 minutes. <laughs> Add more sugar? It's so sweet already. Decked out pie, black and blueberry pie is in the pastry crust. That would be good. You think Warden tastes like gator? It needs way more. It has almost two cups of sugar in it. No, just some yolk got in there. Does it need some heat? I, I heated it up beforehand. I don't know. You know what? We'll call it good. We're just going to put it on and it'll be delicious. Okay? That's what we're going to do. What'd you say? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to call it good and it's just going to put a, it's just going to put another layer on it. Is that what we're going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to stir in some vanilla just for funsies. And, uh, I have cream of tartar in here. I know. Do you think I should just add more cream of tartar? Fresh batch? No. Nah. Nah. Exactly. It's just going to be a layer instead of foof. Right? I don't have marshmallows. We do? You didn't eat them all? Mm-hmm. You can go in there. Too late. Oh, there's only like five. It's fine. It's fine. Meh. We'll be okay. It 
it's going to be delicious. Time for the Cool Whip? No, I hate Cool Whip. Mm. What? I know, don't eat those. All right, we're just gonna call it good here and we're gonna put a, la a layer on top, okay? We're calling it good, okay? See? Mmm. Delicious. Oh, Bubble Boom, thank you so much for that donation. And Beta, 20 gift subs? Are you for real? 20. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. So this is not going to be a meringue. It's just going to have a marshmallow topping. We might call it a drizzle is what we're going to call it. Okay? So we are just going to pour this. Check it out. Ooh. Ooh. What do you think of that? That's what's happening here. Well, that looks amazing. Meringue it's totally meringue. Yeah. Mm. You know what we're going to do just for fun? Because I have one. Wait, wait, wait. We're totally just gonna burn the sugar. Oh. Look at the bubbles. bubbles. Where's the top view? Look at. Oh. Toasted marshmallow. This is what's happening. Oh, it smells like toasted marshmallow, too. That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. You're leaking. You're leaking. Well. Okay. All right. The production is leaving the no, I'm done. Are you? Yeah, I'm done. Look, that's the end. I don't know what to do. If you're leaving, what do I do? Stop. On your... Okay. All right. So here's what the, the finished product is. I'm good. Don't, don't knock over any camera. Mm. Um. You don't want that one? Oh. Okay. So anyway, so this is my s'mores tart with toasted marshmallow topping. We're not going to call it a meringue. <laughs> We're going to say it's a topping instead. And it looks absolutely amazing. And when we have it later, I will, uh, I will post on, I will tweet it. Okay. I will tweet this. And when we cut into the pie, hold on. Let me get out the, let me get the chicken pot pie out. Bye, Bye honey. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Have fun. I will. So here's the chicken pot pie. That smells absolutely amazing. And then that's dessert is this deliciousness. And then uh, the dogs, the peanut butter pie dog treats, which I will also tweet later when I, or uh, yeah, tweet later when I give them to them. So this is the, the dog treat, the peanut butter pie dog treat. So it's very excited. Dinner and dessert, it's going to be so good. Y'all are going to be jealous. You're going to be like, I need to come over. Okay? But it smells great. And my meringue didn't meringue. So be it. You know? It still looks delicious. That topping is gooey and delicious. And uh, I'll fridge it up. And it smells like, it, I mean, I wish you could smell it. Like that pot pie smells amazing. This actually smells like toasted marshmallow. Um, yeah. So I will, uh, uh, I will tweet out pictures from everything. All right. 
So that's it. Thank you all so much. Uh, thank you for the raids today, Parsnip, Skiz, and Impulse. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the donations and all the new followers. You guys are fantastic. I feel like I feel like this is something I could do again if you all liked it. Um, and we'll just have to come up with different recipes. I feel like it's it's kind of something fun to do in the afternoons. Um, something different that I don't normally do. Um, I might, so usually on Tuesdays though, I do stream two point, uh, campus and the new DLC comes out tomorrow and guess who got early access. And so I might stream a little bit later tonight just to have a sneak peek at it, but I will be streaming tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, my time, which is currently Pacific, uh, time. I match up with Pacific now. So I know, and I have a cheesy, <laughs> I have a cheesy gubbins Udi too. Um, St. Patty's Day cookies. Oh, I can't. I can't do two of these live streams in one week. <gasps> it's too stressful. Um, but now that like the technical side of it, I feel like we're kind of good. So maybe we'll do maybe once a month. What do you think of that? I feel like maybe not more than once a month, but once a month I feel like would be good. Yeah, more streams like this. Well, thank you. Yes, I will thank production. Production just took our kid to Ninja, so <laughs> he is out. Um, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. Um, on Discord, you can uh, go on my Discord. Um, what about a breakfast stream? That could be fun. We do biscuits and gravy, maybe. I don't know. We'll do it. We'll, I'll. We'll do once a month. That would be good. Uh, Red is fun. Thank you so much. Russ never sleeps. Thank you so much for those bitty bits. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously, amazing. Thank you all for your support today. Um, it was a lot of fun, and it went better than the last time, right? I didn't bust my chocolate. <laughs> Seriously, bottom of my heart, you guys are amazing. Thank you all so much for being here and for your support today. And uh, I will catch you all later, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Seriously, I gotta go. I gotta go turn off the computer, it's in the other room. I know, look at this hype train. <laughs> We've got a hype train when I'm about to leave. You guys are amazing. Oh. You guys are so awesome. Anyway, I hope you all had a wonderful pie day and I hope that uh, I'll see you all later. Okay, bye. Can you still hear me? I gotta push the button over here so he doesn't get mad at me. Push the button, push the button. Here it is. Goodbye.